welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be remaking my little bare felt plush tutorial. So back in, I believe, 2015 is when I posted this video, and it has definitely been one of the most popular videos on my channel, these little adorable felt bare plushies. And I feel so bad because back when I made this video, the quality wasn't that great. You know, I skipped a lot of steps. You know, I didn't show you guys how to do the stitches. I didn't show you how to stitch the ears and arms and stuff in between the plushie. You know, I didn't think, you know, that that video is something you can use to actually make the bear if you are not super experienced with sewing. So I feel really bad about that video and I feel like I owe it to you guys to remake it and do a better job. So you can make your little bear plushie any color that you want. I have some that are like this adorable like reddish brown color, which is like a teddy bear color. This one's probably my favorite. But you can also make, you know, a pink one or a cream one, blue one. I also even have a little black bear. You can make it any color that you want. So have fun with it. Be creative. You can add bows to it if you want, like a bow here. Some of them I did not add bows, so you don't need to add a bow if you don't want or if you want to add a bow. Just cute little accessories you can add to it. I'm going to be making the plush the exact same way I had made the plushies here. The only difference is I'm going to be using black plastic safety eyes instead of these little pieces of felt that I had cut out. But if you don't have black plastic safety eyes, don't worry. You can still make the plushie. You just cut out these little black circles and glue them on instead. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. To make this bare plushie, you're going to need some material and you can use any color material that you want. It's completely based upon what color bear you would like to make. So you can use, you know, blue or green, pink, purple, any color you want that's completely up to you. For this video, I'm going to be making a brown bear. So I have this reddish brownish color material and then some tan material. I'm going to be using felt, but you also don't need to use felt. You can use any kind of material that you want. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm using felt in case you want to use the same type of material as I am using. You're going to need some thread that matches the material that you are using and then some black thread to sew on the mouth. You're going to need some stuffing. You're going to need a sewing needle. And then optionally, you can have some ribbon if you would like to make the plush into a keychain or to be able to hang it up or anything like that. You're going to want some ribbon. You can also have optionally a little bow to add on as a little decoration. And then another optional item is these black plastic safety eyes. If you don't have these, don't worry. You can still make the plushie. You can just use black material and cut out little circles instead and glue them on instead of using these. If you are using the black plastic safety eyes, you're going to need some sort of marker. I have a black Sharpie marker right here, but it doesn't need to be that type of marker, just any kind of marker. And then you're going to need some glue. I'm using tacky glue, but you can use any type of fabric glue that you want. And then the last thing you'll need are some scissors. Before you can start sewing, you'll need the template, which is down in the description box below, and you'll cut out the pieces from the template. So you'll get this piece for the body, this piece for the ears, this piece for the snout, and then this piece for the inner part of the ears, and then also the arms and the legs. And you'll use these paper pieces to be able to cut out the pieces of material. The pieces you'll need to cut out will include these two body pieces, these two pieces for the outer part of the ear, and then these two pieces for the inner part of the ear. Two arms and then two legs, one snout, and then one teeny tiny little triangle for the nose. After cutting out all of your pieces, the first thing you're going to do is take one of those body pieces and then that snout piece and then you're going to glue it onto the head right there and then you're also going to take that tiny little nose and you're going to glue it onto the snout there. After gluing these pieces down, you're going to thread your needle with some black thread and then you are going to stitch on the mouth. So it's going to look like an upside down V, basically. So you'll make a stitch right around there. And then you'll make another stitch right on the bottom of the nose. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And you'll try your best to make them look as symmetrical as possible. Just like that. 
The first step to attaching the black plastic safety eyes is to take a marker and then put two little dots where you want the eyes to go. So I'm going to put one little dot here and then one little dot right there. Then you're going to use scissors and cut a little hole right where each of the marks are. So you will fold it like this, take scissors, and just cut a tiny little hole. And then you'll do the same thing for the other side. Then you're going to take the black plastic safety eye, which this is a 10 millimeter one, just as a reference. And then you're going to put it through that hole you just cut. Turn the plush around. Take the backing for the plastic safety eye. Put it right here. And then press it on. And then you'll do the exact same thing for the other eye. Take an outer part of the ear and then an inner part of the ear and then glue them together like this. You'll glue together another ear the exact same way so that you'll have two ears for the bear plushie. After threading your needle with some tan thread, you're going to take these two pieces and place them on top of each other. And then I like to start the plush right here, but if you want to start sewing it somewhere else, by all means you can. But I like doing it right in the corner so you can hide the knot at the end in the corner versus like somewhere else where it might be more visible. So I usually like starting it right here, but you don't have to start it there if you don't want to. But I'm going to make my first stitch like this and then pull all the way. And then put this over it like this so you're hiding the knot inside the plush and then you will take your needle and then go through both pieces of material and come out right where this uh, piece of thread had just come out through put your needle through and then before pulling all the way you're going to take your needle and you're going to go through this loop right here and then you'll pull and then that's your first blanket stitch. Then you're going to take one of the arms and you will put it in between the plush. And you know, arrange it how you want it to look. So I'm going to pull it up just like that. And then take your needle and go through all the pieces so you come out on the other side. Pull and then go back through right around here and then come back and then before pulling all the way again go through that loop and then pull the whole way just like that so to show you that stitch one more time you're going to go through all the pieces come back through on this side go back through like this and then go through this loop and then pull the whole way. After sewing on the arm, you're then going to continue the blanket stitch until you're going to attach the first leg. So to do that, you're just going to you know, go through both pieces of material, pull, and then go through the loop and then pull the whole way and then there you go so to do that again you'll just make your stitch go through the loop and then pull and that's really all the stitches you're going to need to know to be able to sew the little plushie together so all you're going to do is continue those stitches and you will sew on both of the legs the other arm the ears, and then you could also add ribbon up here as well if you would like to make the plush into a keychain or to be able to hang it up or anything like that. And you'll sew the ribbon on the exact same way that you sewed on the arms, legs, and ears.
before sewing the plush completely shut, make sure to leave a small opening to fill it up with some stuffing. So I'm just gonna take some stuffing over here and I'm gonna fill up the plushie. And you can add as much or as little stuffing as you want into the plush. And then once you fill it up, you can then sew it shut. After you finish sewing the plushie, you are all done and you can keep the little bear plushie as it is like this or you can glue on some accessories. So I'm going to glue on a little bow to just add a little more cuteness to it. So I was really caught between using this bow right here and then this bow, but I think I ultimately am going to use this one. I love these little craft bows. I think they're so cute and they just add so much to the little plushie. So I love these. You can get them in craft stores and also online, I believe. But I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to glue it right here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please go give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. So please go do that if you like the video. And, you know, if you have any future plushy suggestion ideas, go leave those down in the comments. Absolutely love hearing from you guys. And it's interesting and cool to see the plushy I made a while ago and the plushy I'm making just now. I made them basically the same way. I did change up some stitches. Like you can see that I sewed the ribbon on differently. And I also used the plastic safety eyes versus those felt eyes. But besides that, it was basically the same exact thing. And it's cool to see how much, you know, just having these eyes add so much to the plushie. I mean, at least in my opinion, I think it just makes a little plushie come to life and have a little bit of personality and glow to it. I don't know. I just, I really love the black plastic safety eyes. I think it just adds so much and I can really see the difference here. I don't know if that's just me or if anyone else agrees with me, but um, yeah. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys all have a great day and goodbye.